In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use Laravel's Eloquent ORM outside of Laravel. We're going to be doing this completely from scratch, so you might, might want to build up a little example project as we're going to be doing in this video. And then this is going to allow us to do things like uh, find a particular user, uh, use this uh, where method that you've seen, and uh, everything that you'd be able to do in Laravel. So if we take a look inside of our database, this is actually working at the moment. This is the complete code. You can see we've got three records here. And at the moment in this first die and dump, I am finding a user with an ID of one and just simply outputting the username. So this gives us a string Alex, as you can see in the database there. And we've also got um, the ability to use uh, other methods, like I just said, and that, that gives us similar results. So everything that you'll be able to do with Eloquent, you will be able to do uh, once you finish this. So as I mentioned, we're working completely from scratch here. I've just got a empty folder here called Eloquent, and we'll be pulling in the dependencies that we need with Composer, and then creating our files that we need to build up and use models. So really, the first step is to pull in uh, the database module from the Laravel framework, and obviously this is under Illuminate. So if we look down on the GitHub repository here, we can see this database module here. And what we're going to be doing is pulling that in with Composer. So we can find this on packages just here, so we can choose which version we want to pull in. In my case, I'm going to be pulling in 4.2. star. Uh, so we can do this directly from the terminal, or you can create a composer.json file uh, under your directory that you're working. But let's take a look at how we can actually search and everything with, uh, with Composer through the command line. So the first thing really to do is we can go ahead and we can uh, search for packages. So we can search perhaps for uh, illuminate database and that will give us the following um, but what we want to do is we want to go ahead and if we just run composer again we want to show information about particular packages so we can say composer show illuminate database and that will give us all of the version information that we need like so so we can see um, all of the information about this, the versions, uh, etc, etc, the different requirements that this uh, particular module has. So as I said, I'm going to be pulling in 4.2 point star, so we can say composer require illuminate database, and then that will ask us for a version, so we'll say 4.2 point star, and that will go ahead and first of all add that to our composer.json file, but it will also pull in that and the dependencies as well. So these are now within a vendor folder, much like you'd see actually within Laravel. And this obviously pulls in the dependencies like Carbon. Uh, when you access dates using Eloquent, there are automatically instances of Carbon. So you can go ahead and uh, use uh, all the dates that you, all the date functionality you need using Carbon. Anyway, let's start to set up our actual app, and then we'll start to look at how we can pull in. Uh, this into our project using the capsule manager. So in, under Eloquent, I'm going to create a new folder called app, and this is just where we're going to store all of our application stuff. So I'm going to create a new folder called models, and we'll be working with users. As we saw in the database, I've got a structure like this with an ID, auto increment, blah, 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 username and email. So inside of models, let's create a new class. So we'll say class of user maybe. And let's save that out as user.php. And what we're now going to do is create a uh, file which will initialize everything. So pull in our, our composer, autoloader, etc. So let's call this init.php. You can call it whatever you want, really. So to load in these models, I'm actually going to load up my composer.json file. And down here, I'm going to say autoload. And I'm going to load in a class map here. So class map, or define my class map. In this case, this will be anywhere that you want to pull in. In my case, it's app model, so that's going to auto-load these in. To head over to Composer, we can say Composer dump auto-load, like so, and there we go. So now what we can actually do is, inside of our main Eloquent uh, folder, we can create a new file here, called maybe index.php. We can require in our app init.php file. And we can do something like the following. So we could say new, oh, sorry, user equals new user. We could say something like username equals Alex. And then we could say echo user name, much like you do with a normal class. So if we just head over here, uh, oops, we need to load in, obviously, our 
compose autoloader so it's vendor autoload.php that just pulls in all of our dependencies as well so that will pull in uh, all of the dependencies here so now we'll see the following so we've got access to our user model here but we want to make this so it extends eloquent much like you do within Laravel so we'll get rid of this for now and we're going to go ahead and look at how we can pull in eloquent now so under init we need to actually go ahead and uh, pull this in and we use the capsule manager to easily use things out of La outside of Laravel that's its main purpose so what we can do is we can either say uh, something like capsule equals new and then it's namespace obviously so we could say something like new illuminate slash database capsule manager and we're gonna call that capsule within here now you can do that or more appropriately we would take this or this rather and up here we use it like so so we can say new capsule so that's now going to give us the ability to add our new connections and then boot eloquent so we can use it but obviously we need to provide our connection settings to our database and we have a add connection method that allows us to do this add connection and this is just an array within here so all we do is we choose the driver that we want to use much like you'd see within the Laravel configuration so we're going to choose MySQL. We would obviously choose a host in here. So 127.0.0.1. We would choose the database that we're working with. In this case, that's website uh, as shown here. And we can do a host of other things apart from our username and password. In this case, uh, my username and password are root. Now we can also do things like define the character encoding. So in this case, it'd be UTF-8. We can define the collation. So UTF-8 Unicode CI. And we can also give our table, um, our database tables a prefix. So you can do whatever you want here. But I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. So now what we want to do is we want to set this as global so we can access static methods. So we say capsule set as global. And then we want to boot eloquent, which is obviously important. So boot eloquent, just allowing eloquent to be used. So now that we've done all that, that's now going to give us the ability to actually work with eloquent. But obviously at the moment, our user.php file with our user class in doesn't extend eloquent. So let's do that now. Now this isn't going to work. If we just look at refreshing this, oh, we need to make use of the class first. So let's just say user equals new user and head over here. You'll see it says class eloquent not found. And obviously that's because what we need to do is we need to uh, provide the namespace for eloquent. So up here we can do the similar thing. You can do it down here, but it's probably a lot easier to do it at the top. It will be illuminate database eloquent and then model and we're going to use that as eloquent so now we're using this model which we can obviously extend giving us all of the functionality we need so things like the where method the well anything really so now that's actually going to work but we're not actually using anything yet so on our index page let's actually try to create a new user so in Laravel we do user create and then we provide the information that we know that we need. So I can say username, let's say Ashley, and we'll say email is ashley at codecourse.com. So you'd expect this to just go ahead and create a record in the database here. So at the moment, we've only got three records, but when we refresh, we get a mass, a mass assignment exception thrown. And that's because we haven't provided the fillable fields within user. Remember, this works exactly the same as it does within Laravel. So we create our fillable property here, which is just an array containing all the fields that we're allowed to fill. So in this case, username and email. So now what's going to happen when we refresh, we get a updated at not found in this column. 
Now this is because it's automatically looking for an updated at and a created at uh, timestamp field within our database. So we've got another problem, but we can easily fix this by basically just saying dates equals and then an empty array. So, oh, sorry, it's timestamps, not dates, timestamps. So there we go. So inside of SQL Pro now, we see that record created perfect. So we're now actually using Eloquent within our application. And obviously what we can now do is we can do things like die and dump user find one. We can grab the username here. And obviously that's going to give us a string of four characters of Alex. And then you can go on to use similar functionality. So user where the email equals Alex at codecourse.com. We need to use our first method here and then username. And there we go. We get exactly the same result. So just by doing this, obviously your application structure is probably going to be a little bit different, but the concept is the same. And what's great is you can use this with frameworks like Slim, which is a popular PHP framework because that doesn't contain database uh, functionality itself. So we can implement this same concept here. As long as you've got a model and you've provided the correct namespace, you can extend Eloquent. You can go ahead and use that once you've connected to your database using the capsule manager making it easier to us, uh, easy for us to use this outside of uh, Laravel. So that's pretty much it. We've looked at how to pull in our dependencies, how to create a model and extend Eloquent, and obviously we're using this functionality now outside of Laravel.